law okay i can't operate my thing tonight um oh my god well it was saturday night i guess that makes it all right and you say what have i got to lose well honey i said all right how's everybody doing tonight um of course i will as always post this to youtube for those of you who miss out because i did tell y'all i was about to go live and i think we should have a conversation tonight um lord jesus um I just saw in the uh, trending that <sighs> Prince's body is no more. Um, he uh, was cremated, which for some freaky reason, I thought that that's what he would do. Um, right when they announced he had died, for some reason in my mind, it said he's going to be cremated. Uh um, I'm still, um, I'm still having a hard time dealing with it. And it's just the coupling of things too. Um, but I saw one of my friends really, really struggling with it. Um, it's hard to accept that someone like him is gone. And I personally don't believe that there will ever be another quite frankly, he was one of a kind. And, um, I mean, I mean, life goes on. The music will go on probably forever. I was telling somebody, I said, we'll probably all be dead by the time all of his music is ever published. Um, but I had a really, I had a moment, um, yesterday I was driving home and just, I couldn't help myself and I was glad that I was almost home because I just I burst into a trail of tears and I mean I was like I don't even know this man I just know the music and I I knew that Prince was an advocate um a lot of other people probably didn't because Rainbow Children that album in and of itself he did that as part of a fundraiser um I don't know. It's just, it's weird. And, and I don't think that, you know, say what you want to about any of us who are grieving for a man that some of us may have never known, but he touched our lives. Um, he was a soundtrack for mine. A lot of times I could always turn to a print song to just take me wherever I wanted to go. And that's the hard part. I couldn't even finish watching, um, Purple Rain last night, of course, people are playing that. But I will say this. I, I wish they would play Under the Cherry Moon. I actually really, really liked that movie. It was cute. It was crazy. It was comedy. It was really seeing Prince be this um, silly person. Um, with Jerome. Um uh, you know, and I just, I see, you know, people always like, that's the cheesiest movie ever, but I just loved it. I didn't care for Graffiti Bridge. The only thing I liked about Graffiti Bridge was that one song, uh, The Question of You. And I love Love's, uh, and then other albums in general, I mean, pretty much love them all. Uh, some of the latest work I didn't, uh, but the new stuff he had started publishing um, recently um, I think it was Affirmations or, or something like that. I don't remember. But those last two albums, I really, really enjoyed them. And I just started getting into them. <sighs> you know what song I really... can? I, I just want to sing for a minute. I just want to do... I just want to do... I don't know what is wrong with my computer. I want to do me some freaking raspberry beret i love this song the dj was really hot tonight i had a girls night out i do something called dining divas i try to do it every quarter but i at least will do it twice a year where quite a few of my girlfriends and i get together and the whole purpose of it is just to bring us all together to hang out and have food fun and fellowship which are my three favorite f's and i i just want to say that the DJ was everything at STK. I keep saying Los Angeles, but I don't know. It's in Westwood on the west side. Um, 
off of Wilshire and um, is that Linwood or something like that? But we had a, a, an all out blast. And I'm telling you, I, we are not defined by age. We were silly. We were goofy. We were loud. We just had us a good time. We're just living our lives. And I really, 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 after last year, I really, really subscribed to Big Edge's philosophy of we're only here for a short time, so let's have a good time. I, I'm just living. And I realized something about me. I had been denying myself a long time some of the things that I should be partaking in life, like going out and, 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 and hanging with friends and 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 going on vacation and traveling and just just having a freaking good time and just not giving and excuse my language but I'm just going to say it just not giving two fucks basically I mean I don't care anymore what people think about you you don't know my story you don't know my struggle um you don't know why I act the way that I do. I just, I, I will break out now. I'm, I'm so uninhibited now. I will break out and start dancing. If the, if the song is good to me, I will break out and start dancing um, for no reason. Hey, if the song is good, you know, I mean, I don't just start dancing because I didn't hear any music, but. Oh. Uh, <sighs> It's just one of those things. I think a lot of us are here, but we're not living. We're just here existing. Let me tell you something. There's more to life than going to work and coming home and sleeping and handling up on your personal hygiene and eating somewhere in between. Um, you got to live your life. Um, with the way things are, I mean travel get out and see the world you'll get a whole new perspective about it i went to aruba that was my very first out of country experience and i loved it it was awesome and i got to experience some things that i i hadn't experienced um and i keep talking about it loss, loss is very hard for me be it that someone is no longer here on earth and body or someone has moved on to a new opportunity. I'm dealing with that right now. It's kind of hard because two of my good, good girlfriends um, have moved on to new opportunities. And it's like, it pretty much has been that way for a while in my office. It's sad. Like a lot of my friends just move on and I'm like, I'm still here. And it's like, you know, I miss that closeness with them and it's it's been so many I can't even count on my hand anymore and it's, it's it bothers me but I always have to remind myself that each of us have a path that we have to take in life we each were brought put here on earth for a purpose and we have to serve that purpose and it will happen whether you want it to or not one way or another you will end up right where you're supposed to be doing what it is you're supposed to be doing and I can honestly say that today, um, I thank God for my job. I work in banking. Um, some of you know what I do, um, but I don't necessarily talk about that on social media, like who I work for and whatever. But I do work in banking. And one of the things I'm blessed to do is often go out into the community and do uh, financial literacy, which is very, very near and dear to my heart because I had to learn the hard way from the school of hard knocks on how to handle my finances. It's a dirty game and I would never, ever, ever wish my struggle on anybody. Do you know what it's like not to be able to get credit? It sucks, but everything's good. Got a nice score. Um, all I really wanted was an American Express. So I finally got my American Express back. I had one back in the day in college and did damage. But I was out today at the KJLH um, health fair. And um, me and another young man from the bank, we did a financial literacy presentation. And I just did not realize how hungry people are for knowledge. I mean, it's just, 
it's amazing. And I was amazing about the wealth of knowledge I have. There's a few things I need to brush up on, like talking about traditional IRAs versus a non-traditional, which is actually a Roth IRA. And also brush up on annuities. All I ever know about annuities is that people say don't get them. Um, what else? Um, God, it was just, it was so many questions. And I was so grateful to see, especially people of color, uh, asking these questions. And I thought it was interesting because this week, you know, it was announced that Harriet Tubman uh, was going to appear on the $20 bill. And it's, it's a paradox. It's like, do you really want a slave on the $20 bill? Some are saying, and, um, why isn't the first black president being asked to be put on the $20 bill? And I, let me see what else was the issue, but you know, it's a, to me personally, it's a start. I, I mean, we have to start somewhere and we have to get somewhere. I mean, we're pushing boundaries. It's a woman, first of all, and it's a black woman. I mean, that is, that's a miracle in and of itself. I mean, but I get what people are saying because Harriet Tubman was, a, was at one point a slave turned abolitionist who worked very, very hard to free others. To me, to this day, it never make, made any sense to me how you can take a human being just based on their color and enslave them and barter and trade with them. It just, it just, the concept of it doesn't make any sense. But I guess, it all kind of worked itself out in the end because guess what? Black people, we're here in America. And as much as they would like to get rid of us, as well as our brown brothers and sisters, guess what? We're here to stay. Oh, my God. And if we do leave, um, America's wealth would probably fall out the bottom. I mean, just think about it. I mean, um, oh, what's the comedian's name? He was talking about the everybody take Oprah and Jordan and all of that. You know, there's, you know, and Chris Rock even talks about it in his stand up about there's rich versus wealthy. Wealthy are people who have been accumulating wealth for centuries. Rich could be us. Jay-Z and Beyonce probably would be considered rich. Which, speaking of Beyonce, that segues me into my actual topic. I kind of went off topic about the things I want to talk about. Um... Oh, Lord Jesus. I, I was going to, I said, well, hell, can we get some Biggie or, or even Erica Badu? There's going to be some soul singing and flower bringing. If my burglar alarm starts ringing. That Beyonce Lemonade, I haven't finished it all. Oh, my God. I was like. Damn, what did Jay-Z do to Bay? Oh, my God, she was breaking windows. She was saying stuff like, um, uh, what did she say? You just like my daddy coming in at 3 a.m., able to be in two places at one time. I was like, what? I mean, I don't know what she's talking about Jay-Z because maybe she's just speaking for all women. I don't know. But I was like, well, damn, Bay. I mean, she went hard in the paint with them braids. I think when she gets the braids on, that's another alter ego. I don't I don't know. But I was like, what the hell Jay-Z do to Bay? She up here talking about she fasting for 60 days and some water. She thinks she saw the devil. And, and what else did she say in there? She ended up bathing in bleach. I was like, oh, Jesus. What? Ooh, Queen B, what's going on, girl? Oh, what? Mm -mm. Do we need to show up? And handle up on Jay, cause he can't be doing us. Just he can't be doing my diva just any kind of way. Um, she said that if she's what you want, um, I will wear her skin. Hell, let's just all get in a group selfie together, take a photo together. I was like, oh, oh, Jesus, Bay. Um. Uh, what is it? But the best part about it is everyone knows that in addition to me loving Beyonce, I also have a thing for Serena Williams as well. I absolutely love her. She is my body goal. Oh my God. And she says she hates working out. And I'm like, Serena, girl, 
your body is the bomb.com and i'm just trying to get there if i can ever get my lazy behind back up and back on the on the grind grind like i do work out but i don't grind like i can like i'm capable of what's weird though about me and my workout concept is that although it's been god next year be 20 years when i had joined the military and um Man, I don't even know how I did that because I was never an athlete. I was always a complete nerd, but I survived boot camp. And when I tell you I was swelt and wit, hey, I said, I, if I can do that, I can do anything. And I know that was 20 years ago, but trust me, the mentality of mind over matter never goes away because Lord knows they beat that into you damn near in the military. So usually I just tell myself I can do it. And I try not to complain, although lately I notice I cry and complain a lot. Um, but Beyonce's, uh, I think it's going to be great. I'm glad she finally dropped an album because I don't want to be at the concert. And then all of a sudden, let's just say I happen to end up, you know, near the stage or get pulled up on stage. Hey, a girl can dream. I fantasize about this. And she'd be like, sing. And I'm like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know the song. I just. I just got here and you don't have an album out, but thank God Lemonade is out. I do have a membership with Tidal. Um, so I will be listening to the entire album probably between tomorrow and Monday. Um, so I will let you know how Lemonade is for those of you who have not subscribed to Tidal, but it is on Tidal. Uh, you can get a free one month membership, so maybe you can check it out that way. Hint, hint. But I mean, the concept video, I was like, there's a lot of anger. Is this your way of expressing yourself through your art and letting your husband know that, uh, dude, you done messed up? I mean, she has a song on there talking about, I ain't sorry, and who the fuck do you think I am? And I was like, well, well I, you Queen B, you Beyonce. You're the leader of the beehive. I'm the keeper of the bay, just acknowledge her friend. But I do love Beyonce, and I, I'm glad that um, it's kind of a distraction for many of us who, who <laughs> back to Prince, uh, who are still getting over the passing of Prince and his transition on uh, beyond the realms of this world. Um, may God be with him. Um, but I have a feeling He's just fine wherever he is. I was working part-time in the five and down. My boss was Mr. McGee. He told me several times that he didn't like my kind. Because I was too leisurely. It seems that I was busy doing something close to nothing, but different than the day before. And that's when I saw her. Ooh, when I saw her, she walked in through the outdoor, outdoor. She wore a raspberry beret. The kind you find in a secondhand store. Raspberry beret. I think I love her. There's some other parts to it too, but I don't know. I just felt like singing it. I love that song. Rain always sounds so cool. Oh, I just, I don't know. But I need to get off of here. I'm sleepy and I've got to post to my online class that I teach. Got to go into professor mode. Ooh, and God, I've got a great final exams too and post final grades. Oh my God, the struggle is real. The exams are easy, but for some reason, when I use a PC, for some reason it doesn't do well on a PC. But now that I have my Mac, I'm able to uh, grade the exams better. I don't know what is up with that, but it's a weird concept. But I think that's all I want to talk about. I want to say to my family um, that Big Amy, Big Mama, Mary Fraser Raid <clears throat> was a great woman. And today uh, we held her funeral, her Los Angeles funeral. 
And um, <laughs> 98 years is a mighty long time, but no matter how old someone becomes, I know the attachment will always be there and you'll wonder like, why couldn't they have stayed longer? I can only aspire to, um, I can only aspire to live to 98 or 100 or even as long as my beloved Aunt Betty, my great great aunt, uh, she she passed away in 06 and she was 93 when she passed away. And of, I, to this day, I miss her. But I always have my Betty Wilsonisms, so I, I have that. And then my little grandma, who's 81 and tech savvy now, um, she's still around, and uh, she can always we can always sit around and chat and tell stories about uh, Betty. But I want you guys to know um, that I do love you guys, and um, death is never easy. Um, it's just it's just one of those things it's, it's part of life it's part of the process in some ways I often have said that I thought that it was cruel um, that we we're basically born to die but in the middle you have to make sure that you live and um, I'm getting emotional again um, so just make sure that you're living and um, take care of yourselves too people uh, take care of your health. Um, you know, we've also lost other stars too, like Five Dog. Um, was it DJ Easy Rock? It takes two to make a thing go right. He did that. Um, who else? And then Doug Banks, the radio guy. I mean, they all died from complications from diabetes. Now, I don't know what they did. If if they took care of themselves, if if they weren't. You know, then that's the result. Same thing with comedian Patrice O'Neill. I mean, although somebody told me there was something else going on going on with him, but he was diabetic. I mean, Nate Dog, he was diabetic. I mean, we just we just have to take care of ourselves to make sure that we. I mean, and at the end of the day, if something should happen to us, and w at least we can say we took care of our temple like God wanted us to. Don, I know, girl. I always forget the words. I just be singing in the car. Thank you. But anywho, um, that's all. I was hoping more of you would join me. But I'm going to bed. I had a great time at Dining Divas. I had a great day, period. It was so good to see my family, even though it was for um the home garden services of, of my grandmother's oldest sister. Um which was my cousin's uh, grandmother, great grandma. I mean, oh my God. <sighs> Big Annie lived to basically see like, what, three or four generations? Maybe five. I don't know, but not many can say that. So we should count it joy for that. Same thing with my grandma. I mean, I think grandma is what, 94, 95? And, um, you know, it's only two of them left now. It's on Agnes and, and, and Grandma. And then also my great uncle's uh, wife, Aunt Grace. She's still left. So technically there's three of them left out of that family. Unless I'm missing someone. And now I'm rambling again. And I was supposed to sign off. But I'm signing off now. Um, Y'all have a great night. I know I am. I'm getting ready to go and uh, finish doing some photo editing. Um, and, uh, finish watching, uh, Lemonade. I think maybe that concept is all about it being bittersweet. Love and hate. Mm hmm You talk about that. Anyways, y'all have a good night. Tell me what you think. You can comment later because I'm going to upload this video. It's also going to be on my YouTube. Um, I need to find a new section I, because this is definitely not a diva disturb. This is just diva rambling and freestyling. Maybe I'll call that section freestyling. Love you guys. Good night.